Welcome back, Isos. Thank you, chat. I'm doing my job. And I don't appreciate that. Because otherwise, what else am I supposed to do here? Welcome back, I say. Ah. Like I said, I was being stingy with these things unnecessarily. Go away. There. It's kind of annoying trying to. I can do it. I can get rid of those guys without taking damage, but it's a little annoying. No reason to make things harder for myself. But so you do have mine. Why, why do I keep calling them mines lately? Because there are lots of mines in the game, I guess. But there are, uh... Bombs in lots of places. No. Ah, I was just thinking to myself, I wonder where the... Where the upgrade is here. Go away, man. There we go. I'm happy I can find these so consistently. And I haven't found any other levels that have more than one of these. It seems like, really... Well... Am I going to have a super huge... Laser... Uh, laser ring at some point? And a really nearby checkpoint for some reason. But I guess there was a fluke when I apparently picked up to... Upgrades in one level earlier in the jungle. I don't know if that <laughs> gave me more power... More power than I should have, more upgrades than I should have, or something. I wonder if that's something you could exploit. Duplicating, uh. Nah. <laughs> like, I can keep the. Oh, come on. The grenade floating a little bit, even after it bounces off of something. I notice I don't have to constantly use Goddard to platform anymore. Just, oh, kind of nice. No, that's not intentional. It's occasionally useful for stuff like this, which is totally unnecessary. As I say, he's occasionally superfluous. racking my brain trying to think of... I'm still on this licensed games that aren't totally superfluous thing that actually contribute to their source material in some way or another. And I don't know. I feel like... I, I guess... Well... I don't know. I, it feels like, compared to other franchises that will sometimes have various sorts of media, it feels like video games are in some ways always destined to just be video games. Adaptations of video games to other media for some reason are just known for going poorly, and kind of vice versa too, which is not really the case otherwise for other media, like films and books for instance, go together quite often, similar with visual novels, Watchmen and Deep Vendetta for instance, probably other things that weren't written by Alan Moore, <laughs> maybe. Not know many visual novels though. Okay, someone hit me there. What did I miss? I'm not sure what I got hit by there. I'm willing to trust that the game hit me with something I just didn't notice it. So I was trying to think of things. Ah! It's a really wet splash that makes. This guy's just menacingly spray sent at me. It's a weird enemy to have late game. <laughs> Jimmy, what? You need to shed some weight, dude. <laughs> I couldn't see that mine I dropped on dude just now. Because he falls so fast and so hard. Ah. Ah, key. Careful with the water here, Jimmy. Careful. <laughs> Darn it! This guy. No, stop your contact damage. 
Ah. Suffering non cog damage too. It is so nice having all this health. Like, I am very rarely concerned about my health in this game. Jimmy sometimes, but not my own at least. Considering all this green gludge we're, we're going through here. Whatever word it was I just had, because I don't know what it was. Monkeys! And the monkey cell for that matter. Boom! I mean, I, how many people do you think ever, ever touch those <laughs> those spikes? I, I feel like I had to give this, them some attention. The spikes below me on another hand. I, how am I supposed to avoid hitting stuff below me? And Jimmy always enters the water at such a high speed. Bam. I can think of some some video games that do have other material, but they start out as video games. Like video games that have, see, like shows associated with them. And depending on your idea of video game, like visual novels too. I guess that's a thing, specifically in Japanese media. Yeah, manga, then anime, then visual novel, kind of. No, that's, that's not I'm as familiar with. Interesting that we can go two ways here. That's, that's the thing to pick up there, I think. I can just fly up there. Is this like an alternate path I can take to get to the same place, or what? Or is this just a lot of trouble to take up one little health can? What? What's that up there? Well, I guess I could have jumped over the, the collectible up here instead. And then drop down there. Now, whatever. No, oh, and you're here again. Yeah, are you going to do anything useful here, or...? Do you always have your... I guess he did always have a sleeveless tux, didn't he? Somehow I never quite noticed that. So it just feels a lot more obvious in the sprite that he has here. That's totally untrue. There's another level down there, isn't there? A ladder. You have a jetpack, Jimmy! Sure. Whatever you say, Jimmy. Where? Wait, what are you doing here, though? Whatever. Unless it just hurts them. Okay. <laughs> I figured it would, like, gum them up. So to speak. Silly me. I'm not thinking logically like this game. I appreciate the, the variation in pitch when you pick these things up. Alright, well. Ah! So that's what it does. Okay. Trap fire. I'm gonna have some fun with that. Excellent ammunition. Yeah, then. Although it seemed to. Well, wait. Oh, whatever. I should see what this is like against enemies. Oh man, I can send him flying! Although I should probably re get that back now, admittedly. It's nice that nothing tries to kill me on the way there. Alright. It's weird playing this being preoccupied with thoughts about different media, but... <clears throat> That's an Eastern thing, too. I mostly think about Western stuff. I, don't, I can't tell you much about whether it's common in the East for... 
of things to go from not game to game format. But I think, and I mentioned visual novels, I think you usually go from visual novel to other media rather than vice versa. Even in that case, if you want to consider visual novel games, so I don't know. There are games, like fighting games and whatnot, based off of some existing IP, I think? But I don't know if they add anything to, to the source material in any meaningful way. I don't know. It feels like video games just do not to play much of a, well, very... Oh, that's what this is, okay. I guess, I guess the thing is that video games being an interactive medium tend to be a bit more interaction focused. How? I'll believe you, Jimmy, I guess. I do like this door, this doorway you go through. It's a random, nice little pretty detail. Hello, sir. Good thing I have iframes. Oh, there are fewer people up here now. Rhythmic thuds of Jimmy's shoes that are not the color you'd expect. Ow. Oh. I kind of lost what I was saying earlier. Here, I don't know. I was not paying full attention to what Jim was saying earlier. Okay, you just have to shoot a lot. Jeez. You know, let's do that again. Go with more ammunition. More. I do appreciate the... I mentioned this already, I realize, but I do like the, the variation in pitch when you pick up a bunch of the same thing. That's a small, nice detail in a game like this. Okay, I should do something like that. We can shoot at angles. I should make use of that. Not blow all my ammunition that way, jumping. But, I guess with video games being a more, well, not just more, but an actual interactive medium, when you have a franchise that is also in other formats, the video games tend to focus on the interactive aspect and less on the, like, lore and world and story aspects. That's probably one good way of thinking of it. Why? It looks too like it's actually accumulating stuff to make a platform, but it doesn't. I was just not shooting in the right place. Here we go. I mean, it's not that video games can't be plot focused and whatnot. In fact, for that matter, I mean, I mentioned I don't really play games anymore outside of this channel. Well, I do pay any attention to any kind of... What have I done? God, it helped me. <laughs> I do play, pay any amount of attention to something like that these days. It's usually actually specifically for the narrative. I tend to focus more on narrative oriented games. The likes of, for instance, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explores of Sky, which I played on here. And then, I mean, if your franchise has a presence in other media anyways, then you can just focus on the non-interactive elements in those media, instead of... whatever else. We're getting close to Calamitous, and yet I'm gonna have to go down to the bottom of the ship later. Okay. Anyways, see you in the next episode. Bye, everyone.